Hi, my name is Pixelmist, and you're watching this video because you want to learn how to use the Solar Image Editor to edit your mutants. So, let's start it uh, step by step. First thing you need to do is to download the Solarium Editor and install it in your computer. Back in the time, Solarium Editor was installing itself with a wizard installer, what you saw in every other software program when you're installing it, but there is actually no need for that. It makes it more harder to delete and gives you less control about it. So what I like to do right now, and I suggest it uh, to you, is you just download the Soul Editor um, folder from my Google Drive, and um, you can find the link in the description for that. Let's press download. It's going to take some time, depends on your internet connection and everything like that. But while it's downloading, I'm going to show you what's ha what happens next. I want you to extract the archive with the Solarium Editor everywhere you want. For example, I did it on my desktop. After that, go inside of the folder Win32 and make a shortcut for this X file. Why so? Just so you can hide the Win32 uh, folder from your eyes. And it looks like it's made the same way like other software and everything like that. So I have a, a shortcut now. I'm going to put it over here. And for example, I can move this uh, folder everywhere. Well, I mean, anywhere I want to hide it. But I already have a shortcut, so I'm not, I'm not going to clone them. It's over here. So what I want you to do next is just double click it. Wait a bit. Here you can turn on the music. And of course, if you're watching this video in English, you want to click American flag over here to turn it in. Um, um, so after turning on the English language in the program, you need to go to the edit mon monsters. Next thing is take a look at your left and right. On the right, you can select humanoid um, mutants that you want to edit and animals. Animals are based on animals in the existing alone and humanoid are based on zombies. Don't worry, every single one of them has its own AI. So, it uh, for example, Lurker or Lithnik, they will not uh, act like zombies. Uh, about Lurker, of course, it will look something like a zombie, but for example, for Parasite Mid, this is the big part Parasite with uh, two fangs and a tail. Uh, unlike the wolf, it will see you from 360 degrees because it has eyes on every side of his head, of its head, actually. So, what do we do now? Now, when you are ready to edit your mutants, I want you to download another thing. You need to go to another link that will be also inside of the video's uh, description. And it will be, I believe, somewhere over here. Right now, it's in Craft Maker or something. Let me just paste it over here because I copied it before. So, what you need to do is just download my server folder right over here. If you're a pro and you know how to do stuff, you don't actually need to do that. But um, it just makes it easier for everyone to create its uh, your own mod for this standalone and edit things. You'll see in a second. So uh, let's go to the Daisy tools right now. And we're gonna mount the drive P because this is the place 
where we work, where um, everything happens. So now I'm going to go to my computer. Here is my P drive right over here. Next thing I want you to do is <clears throat> I'm going to delete my, my server uh, folder to make it one more time with you. So let's put it right over here on your P drive. Let's get inside of it. And I'm going to explain in a few seconds uh, what it is. So this config file just tells the game to read scripts inside of your my server mode inside of the scripts you can place your craft and everything like that so what i want you to do is just delete the my new craft over here because this is an example file and if you don't want to use it then don't use it because inside of the uh Servarium tools there is actually a editor for crafts, for example, or if you go to the craft maker, the rule, we will be greeted in this website where you can create your own craft. For example, combine, I don't know, scissors with paper and you get rock. If you are interested in about it, you can watch video tutorial by pressing this button. But let's get back to work. So what I want you to do here is create a folder called mutants. Go inside of it and create a folder for the mutant you are going to edit. I'm going to create a folder for medium parasite. So here we go. We are ready. Let's go back over here. Select the parasite mid because this is the medium. Parasite. Mid stands for uh, middle because I wanted to make an uh, even bigger version of it, but for now I'm lacking of the models. So now I'm going to edit its health, setting it to the 3 instead of 300. Uh, just to prove that it's working, I'm going to punch it one more time. Uh, I'm going to punch it one time and it's going uh, to gonna die. And drop class name. <coughs> Let's add uh, binoculars over here. I'm going to copy it from the uh, class name the easy website over here. It's a bit old, but for example, binoculars. I'm going to work. And I'm going to press that minimum amount is one. So it will uh, spawn 100%. It's not really how it works with the percentage of um, with the change with, with the chance. I mean, uh, if you want to read about it, you can read it about read about it over here because it's a little bit more than just percentage. So now you need to press the save config file right over here. And just save to the folder you have created in your my server. In my case, it's medium parasite. It doesn't need to be named like that. You can write it whatever you want. Just name the file as config, cpp, and save. Press OK over here. So the next thing is take a look at what happened over here. It created a new mutant based off mutant that already exists inside of the mod. So basically after doing that, you'll have two uh, sorry, you will have two mutants. The one that I have created with the properties that I choose and yours that has underscore edit. Every single mutant that you edit will have underscore edit. And it has your properties. For example, hit points and health. So it basically has health set to three. Now, last part and the most easiest part is go to the, your Daisy tools, add and builder, select the folder of my server, 
select the folder of where are you gonna pack your PDF, your mod, and press pack. Now, when it uh, when it's done, we're gonna go to the folder that I have previously uh, pre-selected for packing, and you can see my server right over here. It's right over here, right over here, right over here. As you can see, our pumping is over here. <laughs> Sorry. So let's test it out now. I'm not sure that uh, this GitCat and PyMobile we will handle the starting of Daisy standalone. Usually, it turns off. If the video cuts over here, it means that <coughs> this program crashed. So let's try and hold together. Let's take a look at the mods. Yeah, we're running everything, except, um, yeah, I forgot to put the mutants itself, right? So let's um, put them together, right? Wait, it's for an editor. Um, Wait a second. Let me just download it from here. Since I lost it for some reason, I'm sorry. I prepared, but uh, I don't know where is it. Right over here. Oh, I see it. Okay. So um, the Z standalone is running right now, but since I did a small mistake, I need to restart it. Yeah. I hope you're running. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> so, um, I believe it's this one, right? Yeah. So, let me put it right over here. Now we're going to test it. But before we test it, um, I'm going to repeat everything that we have done so you will remember what we've done. We installed the Sorarium tools. We went in side of the edit monsters. Um, can you go? Okay. Sorry, it doesn't work over here. Didn't know about that. <coughs> so. Uh, we have edited something and saved to the my server folder to the specific folder or specific mutant just to make it clear for us. You can save it whatever you like, just inside of my server. So let's test it. We're gonna run <coughs> the game. And I hope it didn't look like on the video and everything like that. But anyways, you will see the result. Okay. Just a few seconds. I know it may look difficult, but trust me, if you need this software to edit uh, your mutants, that means that it will be much more difficult for you to code it yourself, so just use it. Uh, and when you will succeed on one, your I mean, on your first mutant, trust me, you will understand how it works. And after that, you will be happy to use it. So, as you can see, we have Parasite made edit. <coughs> so, let's spawn it, right? It immediately attacked me. I don't know how I'm gonna kill it. Okay. Yeah, they are tough. <laughs> Especially when you're naked. Don't worry. 
if you are not naked and you have at least something on you, uh, you will not die this fast, okay? Don't worry. It has some sort of chance to kill you with these fangs in one hit if you have no protection. So, uh, just for now, I'm gonna total gut spawn MK2. Did a few rounds and a parasite, okay? Because turns out it's a bad idea to fight uh, with the fists. This mutant has the best sounds I could create. Okay, I missed. Three. Yeah, here we go. So it's dead now. Um, yeah, we also changed that it should spawn binoculars, right? So let's use knife on it. Okay, I'm sorry, lagging a bit. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, it has one, two, three, six eyes. And uh, actually six pupils. But yeah, so here is the binoculars. You can put prizes inside of it. Here are the things that you can sell, for example. And of course, fat, guts, and tanned leather. Because I hate. <laughs> I hate to tan a leather in game. It takes a lot of effort. And at the same time, this guy looks like he's made of some sort of tan leather by the color. I think you, know, you, you would agree on that. So, this is how you use it. That's it. You can close the video right now. But if you missed something and you want to repeat just one more time, one last time, last time, I mean, uh, don't turn on the video and listen to me. We have installed, actually just downloaded the Solarium tools, created the shortcut, opened it, went to the editing uh, page of the mutants. Then we have downloaded the my server folder from my Google Drive. Then we have mounted the drive P inside of your daisy tools right over here. We have extracted my server right over here, created a few um, folders, and after we have changed something right over here, we have saved the config file to the appropriate folder, and that's it. It's still in the testing stage. I'm about the editing software. So if you find some sort of a bug, I will be happy to fix it for you. I'm sorry uh, to tell you that, but I have tested everything. And in my opinion, in, on my side, everything works fine. But if something goes wrong, you can always uh, write to me in the Discord. And if you forget something and you don't watch, don't want to rewatch the video, just press question mark over here, and it will explain to you in short how to use it. Have a great day, and I hope that you will succeed in the first try.